Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please take your seats. I'm Nancy Birdsall, the president of the Center for Global Development, and it's my pleasure to welcome all of you to this um, day of discussion of impact evaluation, Can We Learn More and Better? Let me um, start by saying um, that at the Center for Global Development, we take a lot of pride in, uh, we are co-hosting this day with the IIIE, the International Initiative for Impact Evaluation. So before I say anything else, let me welcome the chair of the IIIE, Richard Manning, who is here somewhere, Richard, and you'll hear, he'll be listening, I guess, mostly. Um, it's really exciting to have Richard Manning as the chair. Many of you will know that he was the chair of the Development Assistance Committee at the OECD, so he knows all about the aid world, the inner politics, the inner inside bureau bureaucratic issues, and so on. Very exciting to have him in this leadership role. And Howard White, who's the head of the IIIE, um, and I think we should congratulate Howard on the tremendous progress the IIIE has made in the last, what, four years, is it? It's only four years. So then let me say how much pride we take here at the center in the existence and the progress of the IIIE and what a pleasure it is to co-host today with the IIIE. It's a little bit presumptuous, but inside CGD we still think of this organization, the IIIE, as our baby. Um, it's grown up, obviously. Um, the reason is that uh, the IIIE in some ways is the product of a working group that we had maybe five or six years ago called When Will We Ever Learn? That was headed by Bill Savadoff, who's here. Bill is kind of the spiritual uh, guide for us today on this agenda and has been um, a guide on uh, the idea of impact evaluation and how to make it as uh, impact evaluations as independent and rigorous as possible. Uh, he's the agenda set a, uh, setting person today, so I'm thankful to him too. So there's two reasons really why this day is, is very welcome in my own view. One is this thing that it's our baby, and the second is that the Center for Global Development is all about taking research to policy and from policy or through influence and taking research directly to impact. And in a way on key development issues. So there are many respects in which the IIIE is all about how to do that well and how impact evaluation, I should say, is all about how to do that well, particularly in the case of interventions that are paid for. Of course, we're always, we're also concerned with a lot of policies that don't have to do with interventions per se. How does trade policy, climate policy, in the rich world and in the big countries affect poor people? But there's no question that an awful lot of money is spent on specific interventions. And the more that uh, the development community knows about why they're working, when they are working, and whether they work in the first place, the better off not only we will be, but obviously um, people in the developing world who depend on, in many cases, services that matter for them and are financed publicly. I was thinking today, or last night, uh, about an article that a, a colleague of mine passed to me in the Atlantic Monthly, and I encourage all of you who are aficionados of impact evaluation to check out this article. It's written by, uh, it was written by Peter Orzag, who's the former um, director of the Office of Management and Budget in the U.S. government under the, in the Obama administration, and by, a, his co-author is a Republican predecessor. And what they talk about is the amazing, I wish I'd gotten the actual factoid, but it's kind of amazing how little of U.S. government spending on interventions is subject to evaluation. How few decisions about how U.S. taxpayers' money is spent are evidence-based. So it just occurred to me that maybe the development community 
can get ahead of some of the most open, accountable, and democratic states in showing the way to being evidence-based. So with that, let me uh, ask the members of the first uh, session to come up to the table. Uh, I am moderating that session, so I'm going to sit down and change hats to be the moderator.